Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Greta and I am super excited to have you with me today. <sighs> you guys all wanna know what is the man killer? What is that super gourmand, smell like a snack fragrances? You guys just can't get enough of them. So I have for you 10, I threw in a bonus, 11, because it doesn't entirely fit in this category, but I really wanted to mention that one. Fragrances for you that will have him eating out of the palm of your hand, following you down the street, and mm, sniffing you like you're a delicious snack. So if you want to hear about these fragrances, stay tuned for that. Okay, so first up, I have my absolute favorite. I have tried and tried to pry myself from this fragrance and try to feature other ones, but I can't, I can't. And then, you know, somebody else wanted to smell it recently and it meant spraying it again. And you know, it was like, I just melted all over again for this thing. I just, it's the best. And it's by House of Siage Mini Mouse. I just, I know, I keep talking about it, but I can't help myself. It's like, it casts a spell on me. It's insane. It is a raspberry mar marshmallow with a little soft, creamy swirl of caramel in there. And it is just to die for. This is a compliment beast. If you want compliments, this one's gonna give it to you. Everyone, every time I wear this, I wore this to the dentist's office today and it was like everyone talking about how good I smelled, what am I wearing and all of that. And it was just insane. It's like crazy good. You definitely get this beautiful fruity fragrance and it's done so elegantly. It's not done um, juvenile like anybody of any age can wear this I mean gosh if you have an amazing parent that would buy you this and you're like in high school or college you're so lucky you're so lucky because it's not that cheap you can try and wait for it to go on sales but it doesn't they I think they now know how popular it is and it's not gonna be doing very many sales anymore it's always on pre-order but man this one is good and you want to make it even better like as if that were like possible but a girl's got to lube up, right? Like you got to use your lotion. And I'm using Bath & Body Works Strawberry Snowflakes when I do this. Strawberry Snowflakes was with their winter collection. I'm sure you can still get it or maybe you did grab it. This one is like a strawberry milkshake and it is phenomenal. And that strawberry milkshake goes really well with the raspberry caramel marshmallow here, that raspberry marshmallow. God, I can't get enough of this one. It's crazy. It's like I have to have another sniff. I love this one. I just love her. I'm sorry. I'm trying really hard to feature other fragrances, but I just, ugh, I love this one. Okay. Mini. You get it. Let me say really quick. If you guys enjoy this kind of content and want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to be alerted to new videos that I put out. As of creating this video, I am super close to 10,000. And yes, I do have in the queue for you some goodies I will be raffling off on my channel in the comment section once I hit 10,000. So again, make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss that video because that will be out in days. The next one is a brand new release. I have a bunch of releases for you guys I have not been able to film and they're kind of stacking up a little bit where some of them were released in 2022, including this one, the end of 2022. And by one of my favorite perfumers, which is Chris Maurice. He goes by two names, Chris Maurice and Chris Carbonell. He is the perfumer for the vast majority of Zerjop. I think there's a, like a handful of exceptions or a few exceptions, but he's essentially the perfumer for Zerjop and I absolutely love him. And this one is by Sarah Baker and it's called Gold Spot. Oh, now this one is a more thick, rich, decadent, wintertime kind of fragrance. Definitely gourmand. This one is butterscotch, chocolate, 
the richness, there's oud in here giving it this richness, but it doesn't come across as like an oud. It's one of those ouds that really blends in and just kind of gives some heft to the fragrance. Man, this one is good. It has a little bit of musk to it, but it's definitely this ambery fragrance. Um, as for florals, gosh, I don't know. Are there any florals in here? It says there's it says there's orange blossom in them in it. I'll I'll give it that, but it's really that butterscotch. Which I mean, have you heard of a butterscotch fragrance? I haven't heard of a butterscotch fragrance. Like anyone? I don't know. But it's really like butterscotch pudding. Like it's phenomenal. Yeah, and then you have the Latian oud, which is actually a sweet, soft oud which is a really beautiful oud, not like harsh or hard or animalic or anything like that. It's a very soft, sweet oud, kind of like the ouds you might find in like um, oud orange intense or juan oud intense kind of. Oh, this is so good. Oh my goodness, yes, yes, yes. I'm actually wearing this on my arm. This one is sexy. This one is really long longevity. I did wear this a few times and just, it, it was till the next time I showered pretty much. It fades a little bit, gets a little closer to you, but this one is a beautiful snack of a beast. When you're feeling a little bit more kind of on the prowl a little bit or want something a little bit heavier, this butterscotch pudding, chocolate, like chocolate butterscotch pudding, like it's good. If you mention it, let's go there. Fragrance Dubois, if you're feeling a little more elevated, but you still wanna smell like sexy and sweet and a little sassy kind of, um, definitely a little bit more boss girl kind of, like you're wearing a really elegant fragrance, you can tell it and it's got enough power to it that it would match a powerful kind of boss girl fragrance, like personality. And that is Fragrance Dubois Oud Orange Intense. It's definitely this like, bourbony kind of vanilla with the orange in here, but it's meant to evoke the color orange, not the fruit orange, just happens to also use orange, but it's meant to evoke that, which is again, a very vibrant, hot to me, a very cheerful, positive, vibrant kind of color. There's a little bit even like a fruity tropical kind of feel to it, the way there's a little bit of coconut in here, there's like the fruits used are definitely more of a tropical kind of fruit and then along with that beautiful delicious vanilla in here which to me has a little bit of like a boozy kind of hint to it not that there's booze in here but the type of vanilla is this boozy-ish vanilla to me this one is so decadent um, but yet there's still this like musky powdery kind of slight air to this that just gives it that femininity with a strong personality kind of feel to it and man this one is sexy and you will be a sexy snack for sure the next one's pretty popular i think a lot of women have this so you can probably pull this out um it's one that gosh you know i just kind of circle back to and realize gosh that really is a good fragrance and then i kind of fall into that whole niche rabbit hole again and get sucked into this world of exploration and then occasionally like once a year circle back to it and La Nuit Tresor is just phenomenal. It's such an easy pleaser and that strawberry, that prominent strawberry really gets me. Um, it also has that richness of like amber and this praline note that really kind of fleshes it out so it's not just this fruity floral kind of fragrance. It's got this strawberry along with that chocolatey kind of praline. There's a little bit of patchouli in here, I think. Um, a little bit of like a, a vanilla caramel kind of bit to it. It just gives this nice, sweet, dense, rich, sexy kind of feel to it. I really love this one. Um, and you know, and this is another compliment getter. Like people love this fragrance in the air. It is sweet and sexy. La Nuit Tresor. Next up, I have from my beloved Zerjoff. You guys just can't get enough Zerjoff either. I think I need to feature Zerjoff more, do some more Zerjoff videos. I do have a playlist that is just of Zerjoff where you can find oh, pretty much all of the Zerjoff somehow featured in my videos. I've featured like 60 probably at this point, but um, this one is Cosmorati in the Cosmorati collection. 
and it's Italica. This one is delicious. I went looking for a nice sweet snack and yeah, there's the Herba Pura and there's also the Selfridge Exclusive Flanker, which is Herba Gold. There's um, La Capitale, but that has a prominent leather note in it, which isn't necessarily for everyone, even though I think the strawberry peach is pretty pronounced also. Um, there's also Uvature, which is great especially in the winter time. But you know, I'm circling back to Italica these days and Dapper has the body cream that is so perfect with this. The Fieve Delicious body cream works really well with it also. But man, this is good. It's, oh my gosh, it's got that waffle cone kind of essence to it. This one definitely has a very milky lactonic kind of vibe to it while also having this Stroop waffle kind of thing. Now for me, and it's probably mostly when the bottle was new, it opened with a really strong, like real maraschino cherry, kind of syrupy cherry vibe. And then that turned on a dime into more of a creamy uh, Stroop waffle, lactonic, milky kind of pastry to me that's just, so decadent. It's like the cherry transferred into almond. I now more directly get that almond. I don't know how my bottle just changed a little bit, but regardless, every way it's ever been has always been so delicious. The lasting power is also better as it's been on my shelf um, for what, a year and a half or so since the second launch of it in 2021. So the lasting power has really built up also. It just has this beautiful gourmand yet milky creamy feel to it that is so cozy and so sexy and like such a snack. It is delicious. It does make me a little hungry though. So Italica by Zerdoff. The next one used to get a lot of hype and I don't hear a lot of talk about it again. I discovered this from subscribers when I was brand new on my channel telling me I needed to try this as a great vanilla and I fell into the rabbit hole of this entire brand and now own, I now own nine whole bottles and then like 10 ml decants of about three and then sampled a bunch more than that. But it's by Perfume Aroma, which is a, a perfume house in Rome, obviously. And it's Dolce & Fundo. This one is so delicious. Their perfumes tend to be pretty linear. They're very, very high in oils. It's the only one where it actually, they, they come separate and then you put the screw cap on, also comes with a roller ball. They do recommend rubbing in the oils because it's really high in oils. They don't want you to ruin your clothes by getting the oils on it. They want it rubbed in, where normally that would crush the perfume molecules. Um, but they are very heavy in oils. Longevity is incredible. Sillage is incredible. Um, but they stay pretty linear. And this one is to me like a beautiful rich vanilla with a twist of lemon. Like there's citrus in there that you've kind of squirt a bunch of citrus in. It's so delicious. Um, kind of a fluffiness to it. And it definitely puts you in giant scent bubble. When I drive wearing this, I can feel it all in my car. And if I move in or out of my car, I get a giant blast that I absolutely enjoy. So Dolce Sinfundo is just an incredible vanilla when you want to be in this vanilla citrus bubble. So, so good. Dolce Sinfundo. The next one I finally broke down and bought because Gabby, Gabby Loves Perfumes, just raved and raved and raved about it. And I do tend to have pretty similar tastes to her that, especially when it comes to fruity fragrances, that I was like, all right, I have to try this because she loves it and it keeps staying in her collection. Um, and she's got a pretty big collection that she tries to keep down with some declutters, but this one has stuck around that I finally broke down. And then let's see, it came out in 2021 and it's Quentin Biche is the perfumer, which is another favorite of mine. And I think a favorite for a lot of people, the man just seems to not be able to do wrong. And it's um, Jean-Paul Gaultier, La Belle, Le Parfum. This one is beautiful. I haven't had a chance to wear it very much, but I love pear and it does open with the juicy pear that the original opens with. But this one has this nice, deeper, richer sexiness to it. This is like La Belle After Dark. Boom shakalaka, this girl right here. She's got, ooh, yeah, she got some something going on. 
I don't know where this richness is coming from. It just says it's like tonka, vanilla, um, it, just jasmine, tonka, vanilla in that pair. But there's something rich and decadent in here. Like, I, like there's patchouli or something in, in here. It's like there's patchouli or something in here giving it that richness. But it's also, yeah, there's like a little spice in here I get. Yeah, I'm not so, this is, might be another, like another situation where for granted because pretty wrong. Yeah, this one just definitely has this nighttime richness, sexiness. I think if you like La Nuit Tresor, it doesn't have that strawberry, it's more pear, but I think you would like this as well. It has that same deep, rich, um, beautiful kind of feel to it. And that sweetness, I really like this one. Um, thank you, Gabby. Uh, I blame you for half the money I spend, but this is a really good one. I like this. The next one, um, you know I have to have something for you to level up. And this is one I feature every Valentine's Day season because it was in a launch, a collection of three that was meant for Valentine's Day in 2016. It's by Raja Dove. I'm gonna include one for you because it's still available. It's the only one of the three that has not been discontinued. <gasps> Oops. Oh my gosh, my whole camera stand collapsed and fell and broke and then I set it back up, went to record and realized I pretty much finished this list and was not recording. Ay ay ay. Okay, so the next one is, as I was saying, from Raja Dove 2016 collection of three perfumes. It was a collection that came out for Valentine's Day. Only one from that collection is still around and it's Ti Amo, which means I love you in Italian. This one is beautiful. She's beautiful and she's elegant. So yes, it's like a cocoa powder kind of fragrance soft, like if you've ever smelled Britannica, also has that cocoa powder kind of smell, but it's also mixed in with florals I get a rose in here. I think there's also like some white florals too um, mixed in and the cocoa powder is like mixed in with cosmetics counter powder. So it gives it this more glamorous feel while also being this gourmandy kind of treat. He's not really big on gourmands. He doesn't have a whole lot of gourmands that he's done. There's this Britannica kind of comes close um, and Sweetie Oud, which was unique in itself also. He's known for like um, amazing blending with florals and iris and violet, which gives like um, a powdery cosmetics counter vibe. He'll always make you feel like a million dollars when you wear his creations. But this one has that added Valentine's flair, the romantic feel of chocolates in the air. And gosh, Tiamo is so special and you can still find this one. Yeah, definitely a good one. The next one I think is from 2018 and it's by BDK Parfums Rouge Smoking. If you're not familiar with this perfume, don't worry about the smoking. There's nothing, like nothing, zip, zero, zilch of smoke in here. It is a cherry, vanilla, fluffy kind of baby aspirin. Wow. <sighs> There is violet in here, like a heavy violet, which kind of, to some people, I think that's what gives it that baby aspirin kind of feel. The violet candies, if you're not familiar with violet candies or maybe Guerlain Insolence, which is a really violet fragrance. It gives that violet candies with cherry and vanilla and fluffiness. The heliotrope in here is like a um, fluffy, almondy kind of texture feeling is what it gives it. So you definitely have this fluffy cashmere kind of feeling from here and it's delicious and sweet. You're like a little sex kitten with this one. The way it has this fluffy kind of feel to it, you're literally like a sex kitten. They're gonna be wanting you. They're gonna be eating out of your hands with this one. It is so, so good. Highly recommend Rouge Smoking to have them on his knees. The next one is for my girls that love a fruity snack gourmand that is really, ooh, this one has sillage, it has projection, it has deliciousness all over it. And it is by Byron, the Chronic Rouge Extreme. Poof, this one's good. Put it in the wheelhouse of if you like 100 Silent Ways or if you like Minnie Mouse. This is raspberry and pear and melon 
mixed with whipped cream and a heavy dose of whipped cream. This one also has um, like an ambery, musky kind of vibe that gives it this like hazy, drugged kind of feeling like you're in the spell of this woman kind of feeling. The way it's just this beautiful, fruity, whipped cream, amber bodied, fluffy sex bomb. This is good. It is sweet. Men love their sweets. Let's be honest. They love sweet, fruity fragrances on women. They are suckers for them over and over and over again. Those are the ones that get compliments. They just love it. They want you to be this edible snack. And this one will have him following you, I promise. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, the Chronic Rouge Extreme is so delicious. Yeah. The next one I haven't talked about in a while, and I don't want you to think I don't love it. Gosh, it's just that they've come out with so many releases that it just kind of pushed it to the side and then I occasionally circle back to it and it's just so amazing. And this is the bonus 11th one that I have because it's not necessarily this fruity, sweet gourmand one, but there is this sweetness to it and it is so intoxicating. This one just leaves this feminine trail of seduction where she goes and it's by Argos and it is the Parfum, the original. I still have it in the old packaging absolutely love this. this is the first one that I got from this house and was like gosh that's really pretty this one is a little harder to describe because it has a lot in here and a lot going on but it's just so incredibly well blended where you get these pops because there is ginger in here and there is pink pepper in here but ultimately to me it's this beautiful white floral with these little nuances of citrus to it along with this like bourbony vanilla thing and then outside of that major kind of feel you also have these pops where you get that little bit of zing from the ginger or this like um you get the lavender in there which also i think gives this beautifulness like if you think about how it's used in Mong mongolan right um but there's also this little bit of libra in here where it's this beautiful white floral with some citrusy aspects Almost like if you took the original EDP of Libra, but made it a little sweeter and fruitier and sexier. Um, I, I'm really not a fan of the EDP of the Leap. I actually like the others, the other versions better, the EDT or the La Parfum. They're just way better. This is kind of like taking that EDP though, but kind of fixing it, so to speak. And then it's in this base that's really a creamy, creamy tonka vanilla kind of musky base but this one just has the most intoxicating central it's definitely like thicker and creamier than libra which is very like crisp and translucent to me and heavy on that lavender this just has a dash of lavender to it this one is so so pretty um but again yeah this one is very bewitching the Parfum by Argos. And I do have Greta 10 that will get you 10% off on this one too. Yeah, so I always like you to save some money. But there is also Dor Parfums, which I have the code Greta 10 also. I think they'll like give you samples and stuff too. And Dor Parfums doesn't have all of them, so I'm not sure if they have this one. But yes, this one is beautiful for this time of year where you just want to... Actually, this one's pretty year round but it really leaves a beautiful feminine trail that just have men like pawing for you or like just admiring it. Like you're a queen walking by with this one. I just wanna say also really quick, I'm not sure what day this video is going to get out, but a little birdie named Calissa told me it is a subscriber's birthday this week. So I wanted to wish a very happy birthday to Tommy. I hear you are the perfume queen and I wanna hear all about what perfumes you got for your birthday from friends and that you treated yourself to cause I'm sure you bought something amazing and I wanna hear all about it. That's my wrap up. Those are my fragrances that will have men on their knees begging for more, following you down the street, following you where you're walking and gosh, if you've got that date, you landed that date with the guy you want, he is going to be eating out of the palm of your hands if you're wearing these on the date. I'm telling you, these are money. These are compliments, all these. Leave me down below some of your gems 
There's so many perfumes out there. I love them all. Um, let me know down below what you were liking and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.